So let's suppose you want to find a confidence level for a proportion, and you're going to use R to do it. Since we're doing a proportion, you would do prop for proportion, and then dot test. Even though it's a confidence interval, it's done. everything's done with tests. You would then put in your x value, how many you observed to happen. Let's say we observed 12 to happen. You put in your n value, how many did you ask. Let's say you asked 56. And then you want to put in what confidence level you want to do. So let's say we want to do a 95%. You would type it in as 0.95. Do not put it in as a percent. Always put it in as a decimal. And then just hit enter, and there's your proportion. So your confidence level, you want a 95% confidence level. It's right here. So there's your confidence level. That's the information you need. Your proportion is between 12% and 35%, or 0.12 and 0.35. So your proportion is somewhere between these 0.12 and 0.35 value um, for your proportion value. And that's all you have to do. Um, some people like to do a correction, or not have the correction. This actually has the continuity correction. If you want to do it without the continuity correction, then you would actually do the same exact thing equals 0 0.95 and then you'd say correct equals false and the false has to be in all caps notice you get a slightly not very different but slightly different proportion instead of going between 0.12 you're going between 0.13 to 0.34 so it's fairly close it's not that far off so it really isn't um, necessary to do without the continuity correction.